day five of my honey advent and today it is Dorset Bell Heather Honey from Fortnum and Masons. So there is a story, there's always a story with my honeys. See this hamper? Well, hello Nikki. This hamper is from Fortnum and Masons and after I started studying honey sensory analysis, my husband very kindly in Fortnum Masons ordered a little honey hamper for me and I had a selection of honeys, too many to fit in the hamper, so when it was delivered, it was lovely, I had some extras and this was one of them. And I had not tasted this honey before. So it's um, Dorset Bell Heather. Now the part of Dorset it's from is Purbeck, so that's the sort of Swanage, Wareham, that area. Now look at that. Now what's quite distinctive about any heather honeys is you can get a sort of reddish tinge. Now this, you can see, is part liquid. It's sort of almost started to crystallise. Um, in fact, I broke a plastic spoon trying to get it in here um, from the jar. So it's quite, quite solid, quite tough. So the reason I use plastic spoons when I'm tasting is because then you don't get any background taste. You get the pure taste of the honey. Now this honey is really, really one of my specials, one of my favourite ones. So I don't use this one when I do honey tastings because I've only got the jar. And as I will tell you shortly, it's even more valuable because I've only got this one little jar left. Now, when you lift the lid of this honey, oh my word. It's, it's as if you're laying in a field of heather on a peaty meadow hillside in Dorset. And I'm a Dorset girl, so I, I know this area quite well. Oh, it's just heavenly. It's so strong. It's a really, really rich, rich flavour. Now that's the aroma. Now then when you taste it, so you've got these, you notice I put a bigger blob in because I'm gonna eat all this today. So there's some quite solid bits. Here's a solid bit. You see, it's not gonna dribble off the, um, off here. So I do wash the spoons and use them as much as I can because I really, really hate plastic. Now, it's very granulated. Do you remember one of the honeys, I think it was coriander the other day, how you still get the grains? This is almost like having a sugar lump, but, yeah, you can taste the, you can taste the richness. It's very aromatic. It's not like other heather honeys. It's, it's quite difficult to describe. It is just rich, peaty, slight bitterness, but also very aromatic. So quite perfumed. It's got some liquid that sort of mix, mixes around with the crystals. And the crystals, the honey melts, and actually eventually the crystals do. They don't stay hard, they do just dissolve in your mouth. But this honey is fabulous. Now, the reason it's extra, extra special is just by pure coincidence. A couple of years ago, I was visiting a friend who lives in Swanage and she introduced me to her neighbour, who was a lovely chap who would sit outside his front door. So whenever we came and went, he saw us. And so we went over and we had a drink and we had a chat. Anyway, when he learned that I'm a beekeeper and I like honey, he said, oh, you have to meet my friend, he's a beekeeper. So, of course, everybody knows a beekeeper. And I was prepared to meet somebody perhaps um, twice my age and maybe with a beard. Um, but in actual fact, it was field honey. And it was a couple of gentlemen who, it turned out, produced this honey for Fortnum and Masons. So it was amazing because when I went to see their... So we arranged to meet and, and um, this neighbour of my friends, he took us to their, their little newly developed honey processing plant which was amazing and um 
and we were chatting and then they were talking about their honey and they were talking about what they do and they they also supply the newt so we have the field honeys in the newt but they do supply fauna and masons and they were saying about the dorset bell heather and i said oh i've got that honey i've got that honey and it turns out that this year which was 2017 was a particularly good year for the Dorset Bell Heather, and they've not been able to replicate it, which is why this teeny weeny weeny jar is so important. But I think that um, 2019, they had a sort of a similar crop, but I've not yet tasted that one. So this is Dorset Bell Heather from Fortnum Masons, and I love Fortnum Masons. I know Helen, who's here, she loves Fortnum Masons too, and I'm gonna go there next week and have a look and see what exciting honeys they've got in their honey display. But this honey is heaven. Um, a lot of people say that heather honey is up there. Heather, the Greek thyme honey, Scottish heather honey, and I will taste the Scottish heather honey. But this Dorset heather honey, maybe it's because I'm a Dorset girl and it's just the flavours of my youth, but I just can't describe it. It's so rich. It's Almost if you were going to taste red, this is what it would taste like. It's that, it's molten garnet, you know, or rubies. It's just absolutely amazing. And look, there we go, all gone. So there we go. So today's honey, Dorset Bell Heather honey. And I'm lucky enough to have met the, the beekeepers. I know the land that the bees would have foraged on. I've still got a bit of the jar left, thankfully. And um, and Fortnum Mason, so beautiful label, beautiful honey. And that's today, so day five of the honey advent. So join me tomorrow and I will share with you my next honey. Have a great day.